I'm all about being highly proficient with your firearms, but the reality is its mere presence is often enough to win the day. Hey everybody, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today we have another video from Houston, Texas. The Black Arch Protoss holster is the only hybrid like holster that I can recommend. It does everything that a holster needs to do and is great for strong side carry. They're part of our holster consortium. Go check them out at the link in the description. What we see here is we're gonna see three guys get out of this pickup truck with a fourth driver in the car and uh, they have a chain on the back of their pickup. They want to steal an ATM in the lobby of this hotel. And there is a guy at the back um, as a clerk. So this guy walks in and busts the window for no apparent reason with a, a tire iron in his hand. And they're all gonna run in. Now the clerk ran into the back. We're not gonna actually get to see him at all. He's running in the back while the guy tells him to stay where he is. So now they're gonna go get the chain and try to start wrapping it around the ATM. Well, what's gonna happen here is our dude is in the back when a security guard, an armed security guard comes out of the bathroom and she grabs her duty firearm, points it at this guy and he's like, nope, I don't want any of that. I'm good, leave me alone. And he runs off, tells his buddies there's a woman with a gun inside. So they're all gonna run off. The driver actually leaves them there and bounces himself. They gotta run off and we get to learn some lessons. Look, I'm gonna be real. I want you to be highly proficient with your firearm to train and to practice and to be good with it. But this video and others like it teach me that this is why I'm a Second Amendment absolutist because even untrained people can be highly effective with their firearm. I think that's our first lesson. Let's get to more. So this kind of event, multiple attackers are real friends. About a third of all attacks of all kinds that we show on the channel involve multiple attackers. So that's why having a high level of skill is important. Making sure you're choosing your tools is important as well. Now then, why in the world is, are these guys doing this? Because they want the money out of the ATM. But why he chooses to break that, that is purely a power play. All that is right there. He had no reason to break that. You can see he's opened the door. He's doing that to establish dominance. And this is something that I see attackers do pretty regularly. They want to make the people who they are attacking cower. They want to establish that dominance paradigm. And he does that here by using this tire iron to break something and say, hey man, I'm in charge here. So you better have an attitude as a self-defender because you may not, you know, this guy's gonna try to assert dominance over you. You better have your yourself ready to rock. Now, they're going and, and again, trying to steal stuff, whatever, but are they a deadly threat? Absolutely, dude's got a tire iron in his hand. And what I want to recognize here is I want to recognize our guard. That she steps out of here, armed guards, you can see it's three o'clock in the morning, whatever, and it's a sleepy night, she's not expecting this, and she has to flip the switch and sees, oh my gosh, there's this dude back here who is masked and all that stuff and he has a tire iron in his hand. Does she need a gun in her hand right now? Absolutely. But now what we gotta ask is does she need to shoot that gun or is it better to point that gun? She gets the gun out, gets it on him, issues him a command. Now she has the time to do that because he's got a tire iron in his hand and because he's at distance. So she has the time here to get a gun out and make an announcement. So sometimes we draw our firearm and we issue a command, not just draw and fire. Now that said, I don't know that she can see his right hand very well, but I'm gonna assume that she saw the fact that he has a tire iron and that's why she drew the gun and issued the command. Had he had a gun, no time to issue a command. You gotta end the threat immediately. But the fact of the matter is he can't reach her with that tire iron right now. She can reach him with her gun. So she has discretionary time to issue a command. Make sure that you've got that. Otherwise, of course, she's got multiple attackers to worry about here that she doesn't necessarily know about. So make sure that you put yourself in a good position. And she does that here. She actually moves herself to a better position to get to a spot that she can't get behind. Now, I do want to note here a couple things. Does she look like a raging badass here? I would say no. I mean, obviously, you can see her hand position on that gun. She doesn't look like she's, you know, a, a crazy training junkie or anything like that. She doesn't look like an Amazonian warrior or anything like that. And that's okay. What does she look like? Someone who's in charge of herself mentally and emotionally, has her tools out and is ready and prepared to use them. The mere presence of the firearm won this defensive encounter. And that's the level of force multiplication that it has. Had she stepped out by herself unarmed, she would probably have been a significant victim. The fact of the matter that she was armed wins this fight. And that's how powerful it is. And one of the big reasons I recommend that all good, sane, sober, moral, prudent people carry a firearm if they possibly can. One final bit here, you notice that she follows them outside and comes out the front door to see what they're doing. You know I tell you not to do that because of the additional danger. There's multiple attackers out there. Thankfully, none of them wanted to engage with her because of the force advantage that she had, but she didn't know that walking out there. I strongly recommend that you don't chase fleeing felons. 
that you let them go and establish and, and validate and maintain and strengthen the dominance of the space that you've already earned instead of stepping out into an unknown where you haven't earned that dominance. Other than that, I think this guard did a really fantastic job of drawing and issuing a command. It teaches us some important lessons as we seek to cover our ASP.